All clear. Dispatch, enjoy your ride. Good day today, ladies and gentlemen, from Theme Park Tempo. I am here today at Old Town in Kissimmee, Florida. Also, a fun spot in Kissimmee, Florida. Um, it's been about a month or so since I've actually done a video here. Just want to take you guys back. She had a little few things that are changing here. Not too, too much new, but always fun and exciting to get back to Old Town and fun spot here in Kissimmee, Florida. As you see the world's tallest sky coaster out in the distance. But here we go, guys. This is the cruiser for this month. They have out and about it is lovely. But yeah, here we go, guys. We're gonna have some fun here today at Old Town Fun Spot. Now, quick little note: the Vomitron here and the Slingshot are not part of Fun Spot; they're their own separate entities. They're the Slingshot Group, which is the same group um, that, unfortunately, is responsible for the um, attractions over at Icon Park. But yeah, they're still operational. They're good to go. However, this um, Ferris wheel right next to the entrance arches, this is included in your Fun Spot season pa um, ticket bracelet. It is a Fun Spot ride. And if you look down here, they have new pricing for this year. You have the ultimate season pass, which is, um, you get four free fun passes, a, day, a dining day, you get a free sky coaster, 25% off merchandise, and a free souvenir cup uh, for $300. The one that I'm in, um, getting is the season pass, which is $129.95, which is go-karts, all three parks, 10% off food and beverage. It's good for the whole year. Um, fun spot doesn't do you season passes based on when you bought the pass. It's just per the calendar year, which is kind of stupid. But for 65 bucks, you get a day pass. So you might as well be going to come more than once just up and get the season pass. However, though, I'll be getting the season pass. It's beneficial to me because they are opening fun spot in Atlanta is opening a brand new RMC in Area Force One, which I will be going to the first week of March, taking the drive up to check that out. So it's definitely worth it for me. And I'm thinking that RMC is why we have a $30 price increase on the season pass this year. It's absolutely that RMC, but hey, it's worth it. So here we go, guys, an adventure. I'll show you a little bit of Old Town real quick and then venture in a fun spot. Passing this Octagon Bar here, which is known as Bobby's Garage Bar. They're not open yet. There are only three full service liquor bars here. This is Bobby's Garage Bar. Shoney's all the way down there. And the bar I work at, Sun the Beach. Um, not to be partial, but we definitely do have the best value in Old Town as far as drinks are concerned, um, pricing, and the most fun atmosphere. Strolling down Old Town's main road. Tonight's a cruiser night, Friday and Saturday. Uh, Saturday is going to be class. I'm uh, sorry, muscle cars. Friday's classic. See this beautiful car strolling in here. They pray the cars in anywhere from 2 o'clock to about 7 o'clock. And then around 7 o'clock, I'm sorry, around 8 o'clock, 8.30, all the cars do a giant parade. They move out from the parking lot where the car show is over here, right to the left of Southern Breeze. They parade around, come back around, and do a whole nice parade for everybody to watch and view. It's a lot of fun. If you've never seen it, that happens Friday, Saturday nights here at Old Town. Also, Friday, Saturday nights from 6 o'clock to 11 at Sun and the Beach is going to be World Famous Karaoke. It's a blast. If you guys are in the area, definitely check it out. Tiki store here off to the right. Yeah. Your typical discount Disney store. However, though, they do have some cool old merchandise in there for a quarter of the price you would have paid for in the park. I can expect some 50th merchandise coming to these stores soon. But you have legit pins, legit Disney souvenirs. It's not like it's rip-off Disney. It's just older Disney at a much discounted price. You find some really cool stuff there, actually. It's a lot of fun to see. Um, don't fall for these $39 tickets. They make you watch a timeshare presentation. Don't do it. It's a trap. You're not getting into anywhere for $39. As far as the theme park's concerned. Free at least. <laughs> Up to the right, as I showed you guys before, is More to Matter, the year-round haunted house. It is closed Monday, Tuesday, so open Wednesday through Sunday. They close around midnight on the weekends, 10 o'clock during a week. It's $18 a ticket worth every penny of it just as good quality as any universal studios horror house out there there's my bar off to the right there you guys are near in the area and you're a fan of the channel something by the bar i'll take good care of you that's where i in the front Get your old town portrait taken over here to the left in the portrait gallery making a left to the old town clock back up into here in the back end 
This for the Old Town Cruisers lineup. You have a few cars out and about. There will be more as the night progresses. People got out of work, etc. We have a decent amount of cars here right now. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon, so still some fun for the entire family. Now we're technically leaving Old Town, entering Fun Spot. Even though Fun Spot does have property on both ends of Old Town. Yeah, the brand new Rock and Roll Himalaya ride. Replace the Flying Bobs. Hot seat, swing. Go karts to the right. Two tracks up this way. I do prefer the go karts in Orlando, though. Funnel cake. One of the ticket booths here. Of course, I got to get a ride on Mind Blower. It's been way, way too long. As you can see, we're off in the distance. There's very few looping roller co wooden roller coasters in the world. Comes along strong. Of course, you don't have my GoPro today, so I'm not going to be taking you on. It's a little fun time here, nonetheless. Before I go to Mind Blower, I'm just going to take a loop around here. It's like the chances are open right now there's the other go-kart track off to the right burgers hot dogs tacos quesadillas all can be found here at new york burger company yeah they have the chances over here at the hangman challenge where you actually can win 200 bucks um i've seen two people do it two or three people do it um the trick is the bar spins so yeah it's not all about strength it's about positioning as well and yeah, the water gun chances the bb guns the dark games they're all down right now. They're going to open, generally speaking, they open later in the afternoon as there's more people in the park. They don't open everything when the park opens. They just open the rides. Everything else kind of comes as it goes from there. Mind Blower currently has a deal going on. You get a free ride photo with the purchase of a t-shirt. T-shirt is 15 bucks. The photo is 10 bucks. So, yeah, for five more bucks, you get both of them. As opposed to you're just going to buy the photo itself. Nice deal there. The Dynamite Shack Saloon, oh, not open until later at night. They got beer, wine, and a bunch of snacks and whatnot. Our ticket booth really close to the other ticket booth. I'm not sure why they booked them here because there's also a ticket booth down that way too. So really, I'm not too, too sure, but very nice. Kind of hit up a ride on Mind Blower now, guys. Let's go have some fun. Fantastic time as always on Mind Blower. The Gravity Group inverted wooden coaster here. At Fun Spot in Kissimmee, Florida. And a nice view of the drop coming up here as the train creases. Top of the lift hill. Time to get over here. It should be ready to drop any second now. Here we are. Yep. Full. Giant claw games over here. A couple cars over here. They have a mini and uh, regular size bumper car. Now, if you have kids and you want to one up your Chuck E. Cheese birthday party, you can one up that by having your party here at Fun Spot in the Party Pavilion, which I'm not sure how much it costs to run. I just see people sometimes just taking up and bringing in their own stuff and they go on the rides. I'm not sure if they actually charge you or there's a space you come and hang out. Got to look more into that. However, though, we are going into the 25th anniversary of Fun Spot this year, which is fun and exciting. The full celebration isn't in complete swing yet. We just see some poses around. Not sure how big they're going to go. Their festival, their celebrations are so so sometimes. Um, the Halloween is probably the most decorated next to the Christmas. But either way, it should be fun to see what they do for the 25th. And I actually take you around and show you the arcade. Right up here, next to this spinny ball of doom and head rush. It's crazy flat. All right, guys. Now, the fun spot in Orlando does have a game on an exhibit. It is cool to see. And from the arcade here, they have a lot of options in this arcade. Bike racing games, punching bags, classic games that can stop them. And some new games as well. I've never really seen this one out before. Classic air hockey. Fire game. One of my actually newer favorite arcade games are these two that always seem to be next to each other wherever you go. And that is Down the Clown. 
and the milk drug toss. Classic water gun racing game. You don't got it's only fifty cents. You don't got to pay five dollars. You don't want a prize money. You know, keep your game sharp. Now they have a flat screen TV in here. That's a pretty cool prize. Two hundred and fifty five. Two hundred and fifty dollars cash. They got a hoverboard. They'll do what it looks like. Maybe difficult. Somebody forgot their souvenir cup here. It's unfortunate. Come from refills. Now, out of any of the theme parks around, I do gotta say, Fun Spot has definitely the best deal for alcohol. It's ten dollars initially, and it comes with the beer, which is just about what you're paying anywhere else for that beer. But you get to keep the glass, and it's four dollars a refill. It was three dollars the other this year, a dollar. Uh, cans are only five bucks, uh, five ninety nine for imports. Specialty cocktails, same deal. You get the souvenir glass for eleven. You get six dollar refills which is a solid deal, that's all year round. Um, yeah, if you've come multiple times, it's definitely worth it to up and get back because it definitely, it pays for itself. Absolutely. And there they are, they are advertising the heck out of that RMC. There you force one to open in Atlanta, Georgia. I can't wait, not too, too long. Back in the end of the arcade here, nice little LED palm tree. Sonic basketball, classic ski ball. Deal or no deal, your normal stuff. They got a nice little food court in here too. Pizza and whatnot. But yeah, I'm gonna venture back out into the park now. Galaxy Spin, the spinning wild mouse here is lovely and beautiful. Not gonna give her a ride today. No wait though. Cool about coming during day here, certainly speaking, low crowd levels 100% of the time. It does get busy on the weekday, on the weekends though. I do love this beautiful view. Sky coaster overlooking. I've done that multiple times now. It is a blast. One of these days, I'll give you a full ride video. Today's not the day, though. So eventually, maybe. And it's pretty much made a loop around. Back to where we entered the park. All right, folks. You see more cars are pulling in for the car show now. Walk up, make a left, check out the rest of the old town and treat a very backup fun spot. In the night, you ever want a great gyro, come here. They have some of the best gyros around Euros if you're properly pronouncing it. Properly pronouncing. <laughs> if I'm properly pronouncing, properly pronouncing, if I'm mispronouncing that, I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, W off to the right, another arcade to the left. You get a tattoo while you're here. It's a lot of fun. I got a magic show, which I, I really, I keep saying I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it one of these days. It's only 10 bucks. It's a half hour show. I mean, how bad could it be for 10 bucks? And it's still in business, so it's got to be good, right? I would hope. <laughs> Just more gift shops and there's a, there's a uh, sake bar, Asian pub and grill off to the right here. Mineral store here to the left. And we're just back in the park now, well, Old Town, which is, although considering it's Old Town property, it's Fun Spot Ride. So it's a weird dynamic how it works. They used to be all one entity back in the day, um, and they branched off from each other, unfortunately. So it's now Old Town slash Fun Spot. It's not all Old Town Fun Spot together, but so cool, though. They got a carousel back here and whatnot. A carousel here. They got a tilt-a-whirl. They got a parachute ride, a screamer, a little kid drop ride, and, of course, Hurricane. I always forget this manufacturer for this coaster, but I know there's an, there was an exact replica in Seaside Heights, New Jersey until the hurricane washed it away. Now, there's only generally speaking about two, three ride operators working back here at a time. So if you want to go on a ride, they definitely do rotate back and forth. Um, it looks pretty empty back here now, which of course it is. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's the very end of Old Town. That's all, all the way to where we came from, guys. And thanks for tagging along today, guys, here at Old Town slash Fun Spot in Kissimmee, Florida. It's always a blast getting on this classic carnival uh, atmosphere. I'm enjoying it, showing it to you guys. And I can't wait until I check out the Fun Spot in Atlanta coming up in just a few weeks. Do me a favor, guys. If you like this video, please like and subscribe down below. Until then, catch you guys next time. I'll meet you at the Midway.